Welcome back, Castlevania fans. So I bought another plus clutch of garlic. Now we're on to the lake for the second mansion and second body part. I don't think this town has a church that it was just in. I couldn't see one. I mean, it's nighttime anyway, so... Oh well. Yeah, that holy water is getting pretty weak now. Um, oh yeah, about that sacred flame that I got. It's, it's basically a powered up version of the holy water. Only uses, it takes a heart to use instead of being free. Same with the silver dagger. It's just a power up dagger that goes all the way across the screen. But it takes a heart to use. So, I might not be using those too much, but we'll see. Yeah, watch for eyeballs coming from below here. Like that. Yeah, that chain whip's serving me good. Okay, so I don't know how you're supposed to figure this out, but equip the blue orb. That's all there is to it. N kneel down for five seconds. Oops, can I go down more? I don't know. I think the lake kills you if you don't do that. I don't know. I must. Okay, here we go. And we're here. But yeah, watch for those fires that the bones turn into. Um, going up here is just a great big dead end. I think there might be a clue or something, one of those clue books, but... Just ignore it. Uh-oh. Yeah, you can tell you're being followed, for me at least, if the frame rate goes out. <laughs> or goes down, I mean. Now, the secret passage right there, see that? Oh yeah. This is the only way only way you have to this is the way you have to go. I think I'm gonna sneak in there while their shots are I guess I could use the dagger or something too, but there we go. Okay, so up here will be the orb. So if you have an oak stake from the previous mansion, if you had bought one, you can do that. I'm gonna go this way. It is a little dangerous, because that thing tries to push you into the water. So just don't let it, and don't take the upper path either. you will fall down onto the spikes and die, so... And here we go. I do want to invest in one. Yes, I do. And I'll wait for that purple death trap thing. If it's gonna show up... Hmm, maybe I'll just jump as soon I'll just watch for it when I get, get up there. Scary shit, hey? Yeah, okay, it always starts on the left, okay. That almost killed me. That we're good. Yeah. Okay, and now it's pretty much a straightforward path. Pretty much. I don't think this one has any invisible floors I have to worry about. You could use a flame here and use up your heart, but why would you? When it's free, just to do that a couple times. Okay. Need to get up here and, yeah, go around this way. Now this looks like kind of a trap here, but this is the way you have to go. You have to get up there somehow. It's the only way I know of to do it, because none of these are secret walls or anything, so we need to get to the right there. I just have to jump from the edge. There we go. That was perfect. Oh yeah, love this whip. Everything's a one-hit kill. Yeah, and we're pretty much done. It's just right here, so... Nice. That was easy. Yay! Now make sure you're facing to the right and not to the left when you use that stake or it'll be wasted, so... 
we have the heart. And that allows us access to, uh, again, I forget the name, town number four, I guess. It makes some invisible platforms appear in a key spot. Um, remember back in the first town where we started the game, and I told you not to go to the left quite yet? That's basically where we're going next. And the heart, equipping the heart, lets some platforms appear to the left there to unlock the area we couldn't go to before. So, yeah, that's about it. So that's what I'm going to do next. Just get out of here and, uh, yeah, backtrack. Oh crap. How do I get out, out of this? I guess I just have to take the hit. Uh, if I was patient, I guess you might be able to get wait for them to clear some room, but... Whoa! Yikes, I thought I'd land on a guy for sure. Yeah, and I, when I first got, got here for the first time, I was using the holy water in every single block that I came across, because <laughs> flashing back to the first match, you don't want to fall through a floor after climbing up this high. Right? So... Wait, let's put the shield back on, yeah. Just in case. Yeah, because you never know when that's going to come up. But in this match, there isn't any. There's that one hidden wall, but no, uh, no floors. Can I safely jump off this? No, I don't think I can. I think there's water down there. Let's not risk it, just in case. Well, I guess I might have made it if I was careful, but... You gone, for sure? Okay. Yeah, so all four of these blocks are free, so don't worry about hitting your head on something. Although that, that jump is tight. Like I said, it's the jumps that go two over and two up that are your hard ones, because that's the max of your limit. Um, yeah, now we're out. I guess it could be a good place to farm hearts if you so choose, but I don't want to risk losing the health. Okay, moving on. Like I said, now we just backtrack. Oh, I guess I do have to go this way. Pretty sure you can't get to the left there. Oh, this is gonna suck. Fuck me! Oh, oh what the fuck? Seriously? All on that stupid fucking jump? Come on. Okay, well all that happens is that you lose your heart and your experience. You don't lose your levels. Come on. Three lives and one stupid jump. Come on. Ah. Oh well. <laughs> I'm 95% sure you have infinite continues, so... And there's a password system, if you care. No save, but a password. And I can always farm hearts off screen, so I'm not worried about XP or hearts or anything like that. We didn't lose anything important. If we lost my laurels and my garlic, I might suck a little bit. But even that, I can farm up and buy again, so. And even if you continue, you, left, you start right where you left off. So that's not so bad, actually. Could be worse. Could be worse. And we start with full health. <laughs> but that pissed me off. Like, <laughs> okay, the first time, okay, I screwed up the job. The second time, I don't know, I must have peed right on the edge and stepped the wrong way. I don't know what that was. I don't know. I thought the timing was one way and it was something else. I don't know. Damn spiders. Well, I guess, I guess you'll see that path that I didn't take before. Because remember last time I took the path that comes up from below over here, in the second town. But now, when we're backtracking, it's faster just to go straight left. Because we have to get all the way to the first town. In order to go to the fourth town. Yeah, I never remembered the names. I'd always, Even if I did, I'd mix them up all the time, so... 
I just go my numbers like I do in most games. It makes sense. I mean, it's the first town you visit or the second town you visit. So yeah, I guess this is the stretch we di I didn't show on camera yet, so we didn't go this way. And we're pretty much out of time. Let's see how far I can get. Oh no, I was here. Oh no. Can I make it over that guy? Yes. And this is... Yeah, this is the first mansion. So, seems like a good place to leave off. Right here, so... Catch you then!